we get in. Hello guys, welcome back to Second Confessions. In this video, we're looking at Toy Box 4 from 1998. Um, first round of 98, fair enough. And we start with Toy Box, number four. Volume four, Toy Box, a BBC children's, uh, what do you call it, like a, lab like a label or whatever you call it, brand or something, as you call it, um, was released back in 97, I think early 97 actually, because they, they released free beforehand, of course, and quite successful actually. Um, but after that, they spawned annuals, they spawned magazines as well. Uh, bits and pieces, of course, actually. So it's became a brand name so associated with children's favours, of course, So which is pretty interesting, actually. It actually became successful at the time. I think the last time it was up until, I think, the 2000s, early 2000s, they actually stopped doing that and they moved on and do something else, really. Um, but it was an interesting time, actually, you know. And they basically, and the BBC, of course, you know, just went, went all out, out on this publishing, this marketing type of thing. And... It's pretty, actually, pretty decent. I think that's how it goes, it goes actually, with BBC Worldwide. You know, just try and give uh, everyone a different taste of things, of course. So, we're into number four. We've actually got eight shows to cover on this one. I think in the previous ones there was usually about seven, actually, but there's an extra added one onto it. So, that's good. Uh, let's get to it. So, first up we've got is... Not in the Milkman from um I've talked about Not in the Milkman, of course. Uh one of my favorites. It's a favourite of mine from series one. I think all, my overall favourite of the course of whole version of Noddy. The 90s iteration, not the 70s version, just to clarify that one. Um again, still a good story, really. I like that one. Next up we've got is Williams Wish Mountains. So Williams Wish Mountains is back again. We have William in the Alien. Actually, a really good, funny good one. Um, what was it? The only sort of bit I can remember from that is like the him and Wordsworth. Is it? No, Berkshire. I think of Jimmy the Magic Torch for some reason, like, the first thing. What's his colleague's name? Oh, yeah, Wordsworth. No, it's Berkshire, I'm sorry. I forgot. Really, it's been a while since I've talked about Williams, Williams, Williams Wish Wellington's on the channel so far. Um, so, yeah, the only self I can remember, of course, I remember it, is it's when they sort of, like, I think they're sort of, like, bulky and full of air and stuff, and they're basically, you know, they, I think they need to, need to do, gra like, gravity or something. They want to be landed on the moon or something, so they basically put Lot. I think a lot of air is in the shoes or something, in the boot, in the space boots or something, and it's basically walked in there and helping the alien. Great design, of course, and very, very good. It's a very funny episode, actually. I really do enjoy that one. That's very good, along with stuff like William the Conqueror, you know, that sort of thing. And maybe, um, what's it, but Sweet William as well. That's another good one I really enjoy. Um, so it's a so nice, little, nice little version of that one. Um, then we got Okie Doke. I think it's the first time I've talked about Okie Doke on this channel, actually, is it? Yes, it is. Fantastic show from Cosgrove Hall. Great voice cast from Kate Harbour and David Holt as well. They brought on a few mini TV shows from the past until present now, actually, so they're still doing well. Um, this episode is Okie Doke and the Hiccups. I think one of the only, one of the two episodes, or maybe a few, maybe, maybe one or two episodes I've only ever seen of the show, actually, growing up. From the very first series, unfortunately. Uh, so, but okay, 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 hips, um, okay, 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 hiccups. I need to say hippos for some reason. Excuse me. Uh, great, great story. I always remember that one because of um, what do you call it? It's when oh, it's Granny Annie's grandson, one of them. I think the oldest one uh, drinks the lem homemade lemonade. And it's, and one of the main reasons to get rid of hiccups, I think, to Oki's knowledge, is to still is to actually stuff a pencil between your teeth and stuff and. That's very bizarre, and that's the memory I can always remember it. It's like, do I actually own that VHS that it's on, or have I seen it on TV for some reason? It's actually on here. It is. So that's, yeah, so I just basically remember that. You know, it's like, it's a reference, but it's a reference memory. It is. I've I think I've probably tend to call it like, if you think of Forest Farms, material differences with the ups and downs of VHS, then you know, it's like, that's a, that certain that's a scene from the episode. It's like, yes, I have that VHS in particular. That's the episode's on that VHS. I do own it. Same, same uh, applies to this one. Yeah, but it's a, it's, a, it's a good one. It's a funny one, of course. And, of course, The Curious Salt is resolved by, um... Oh, what's his name? Uh, Lizzie's statue, I think. I think that's the character's name, Lizzie, that hedgehog. Builds a, a very deformed version of o a statue of Okie Doke. Funny, it's still good. You know, great animation, of course. Costco Fall again. You know, hidden strength by strength, of course. So it's brilliant, that is. Um, great theme tune as well by Andy Wise. Real. Um, then we got... 
Pingu, Ascom musician. Um, have I seen have I have I ever seen this beforehand actually on different V just I believe. If not, I can probably say no. It's a good story. You know, just like you know, banging icicles around with some, you know, again, just trying to like different champs and stuff. It's a nice little one actually, to be honest. Um well, I can remember just just watch it really, to be honest. Uh, but it's a good one. Decent one. I don't know if it actually came it might have came from later, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, I might might do some research. But here here at the moment. Which is a decent story it is. Then we've got Spider. Spider makes another turn, of course. This is Hedgehog Hunt. Can't remember much about this one, unfortunately, but again, just more songs, really, that, you know, I think just do a search of Hedgehogs, really, to be honest, actually, all having one in the middle of the night, I don't know, really. it's a, That one just doesn't spring to our memory, unfortunately. Uh, first one does, unfortunately. Well, it does, actually, yeah. Why well, I say unfortunately? Still good. And, yes. I think one of the least ones, I, it's the one of the least episodes I can remember actually watching on that TV show, unfortunately, so... Just there. Really. And then we've got, um, what we've got? So we've got Noddy, Willing Switch Wellingtons, Okie Doke, Pingu, Spider, Little Polar Bear. Um, sort of, I can sort of remember this one, of course. Um, I think it's, is it, or is it the egg? I'm not thinking of. I can probably remember, I might remember, I might remember it, maybe slightly, I think, maybe. A little vague memory. I think it's a tower sequence on, that, on this VHS I can still remember. But it's a bit vague. Some of these shows can be quite vague to me, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But it's decent, of course. Brilliant animation, from, again, from a different country, but it's decent enough. Nicely done, it is. Um, yes. I think so. Can't remember much about it, unfortunately. It's like, it's like, it's like Hedgehog Kong with Spider. I can't remember much about it, unfortunately. You know, where was the other three or the other ones I can actually distinctly remember, of course. And then we've got Postman Pat. Now, Postman Pat never appeared on the first three at the time, you know, because I mentioned there's only seven. This is the so he was basically included in the later ones at, at the time. So this stuff like oh, what's that one? Uh, Christmas collection, the animals one on one, and some new one as well that came out in two thousand and one, I think, probably. I think to, I think from 2001 that's all finished actually. So, but so it was he basically became, it was a bit of a late edition really. But he was included on all merchandise and everything else. He's just for video releases for the first three he was he was included. I think at the time of course they were busy re release re um, releasing um, uh, the series two VHSs at the time. So obviously it was included. So this episode is difficult day came from Postman Pat three originally. Uh, that's where it originally came from. And a few other bits and pieces for VHS, of course. So it's an early one from 81. This is from the very first series. Um, it is good. I do, it's another favourite of mine. I think people always regard this as their favourite episode, of course. Pat, you know, just causing chaos if he's, when he's late for work and he feels like he's having a hard time, really. Spraining, it, spraining his wrist and everything else, causing, you know, just sorts of stuff, really. You know, just like going from one blunder to another. It's a great story. I do like that one. So it's probably my, one of my favourites from series one. It is. Uh, yeah. So we're basically. So it's also the first time I've talked about possibly about the actual stop motion series, of course, on here now because I talked about the two D version from the nineties from Tempo Video uh, from the early nineties. I think like late eighties, early nineties, really. So is it? So it's nice, refreshing that the actual show would actually has come here. It's taken bloody while to get here, really. You know, it's taken a long haul. You know, again, it's talk about actual Post and Pat, of course. You know, brilliant animation. Iverwood's stellar production company, of course. You know, it's really good. Ken Barry's is brilliant as always. You know, still a great show. You know, it's a, and it's a good story. I mean, it's the only sort of series, early episodes from the very first series I actually knew. This and another one I'll talk about eventually. Um, but it's a good story. I like Difficult Day. And... We finish off with Fireman Sam, Brass Band. Nothing much to say, really. Brass Band's a good story. You know, it comes from All on a Good Cause, which I talked about way back. I think that came back in 91. This is, so, seven years ago that came out. So, it's still a good one. I do enjoy that one. You know, it's a, it's a good episode. You know, and that's it, really. Toy Box 4. Great, it's a great one, actually. It's a great collection. I think only, in terms of BBC compilations, this is another great one. Uh, there is another one I'm going to talk about that is actually... Ten well, it actually stands out better, it does, really. I think, because what's on it, 
and I have strong well, memories of it. You know, there's bits and pieces that I still strong remember on it. So yes, but it's a good one. I still I still remember it. Um, cover wise, it's actually pretty, it's it's an orange. It is. If you if you look on online, it's sort of like a pinkish one, but it's not tied. It's not really like that. I think because of a photo and a, fil a photo mishap or something, it's sort of gone pinkish. Yeah. So if you look on the my thumbnail, it is the pink pinkish version. Whereas in actual fact, it's sort of an orange, orangey, goldish, orangey type color. Pretty much, and on the, on the span, of course, you have Five and Seven Noddy, of course. Whereas I think, yeah, like in the previous ones, you have Okie Doke and all the rest, really. But I think it's also the what do you call it? The first time to use to use the uh, the uh, BBC one from Nice Seven till whenever, really. You know, that sort of like wavy, you know, the sort of like the gentle, soothing, wavy version, of course, that they used. Indeed. Um, I've got nothing to say, unfortunately, and that's, that's about it, really. Um, I've been talking about Tobax 4 from 1998. It's a great compilation. If, tell me if you if you owned any of the other ones, please t comment down below and if, which one is your, is your favourite in terms of um, story-wise by the shows and everything else. And nothing really nothing really and which one do you think is more closer to you if you remember more dearly is it was it one two three or four or the any one or the any of the ones that are sort of like uh, themed related please comment down below about that anyway guys thank you for watching as always see you for the next video and goodbye